What's up guys, Brie Mitch here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, 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 welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it to the moon and back. Okay guys, it's been a minute since I've done a sit down video, so I am so excited to be back in my element in a new space. If you know, if you don't know, I moved. So I am in a new space and I am super excited. If you haven't already, please go ahead and check out my moving blogs. I will have them linked down below and in the cards up above as well. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. It's my first time ever doing one. I'll show you guys how I got this look right here and how I styled this beautiful hair by Ali Pearl here. Let me tell you, I feel like Justine Sky in this hair color. I am just living for it. It's so beautiful. I bought this hair with my own money, so it's an unsponsored review. Okay. It's not even so much a review, it's just like an install. So I don't even know why I'm doing all that. But, anyways, enough of me rambling. Let us hop into the video. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, let us get into this wig. This is a beautiful 22 inch, 180% density number four wig that I got from Ali Pearl Hair. Right now you just see me tinting the lace. To tint my lace, I just put some foundation that's close to my skin tone on it. I let it dry for a bit and then I put the wig on my head. I don't bleach and do none of that exciting shit. So I just put the wig on my head, attach the combs. And once I do that, I go in with a wax stick to kind of help um, with the helmet head situation that I have going on because I did wash the wig as soon as I got it. So this is it air dried. So I'm just trying to flatten the front a bit. So I use a wax stick and the hot comb to flatten it down. And then after I get it to a decent looking, after I get it to a kind of decent, I just go in with this hairspray from Garnier. I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it in the description box down below. And then I'm gonna tie that lace down with an elastic band so it can set a bit while we get into styling the hair. So now I'm just gonna make a middle part. Um, I'm gonna make a middle part cause I decided to wear the hair in a middle part. And then, I am going to section the hair down in two because I am going to straighten it. So I put one section away and then I'm going to go in with some heat protector and rub it all into the section that we're about to straighten and I just go in with a regular degular flat iron that I literally got from the beauty supply store and I straighten the hair using the chase method. I don't even know if I'm doing it properly but it worked for me and I really just did that all throughout my hair. guys oh my god this hair is so full like i did not expect it to be this full oh my god i absolutely love it it's so nice and the color the color is giving me justine sky that's all i can think about while i was looking at it so i definitely recommend this hair um i forgot how much i paid for it but i'll put that in the description box down below as well everything pertaining to the hair will be down below so check the description bar so now i'm done with that side of my hair so i'm just gonna use the wax stick to kind of flatten the top down a bit and go in with a hot comb so that it doesn't look wiggy it looks like a bit flat and you know nice and stuff And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side of my hair. And when we're done, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that lace off. So now that the lace is off, and yes, I know it still looks weird, but we're gonna fix it. It's fine, it's fine, okay? So now I'm just gonna make some baby hairs. Just cut a few pieces. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, the wig did come pre-plucked. Um, I did not pluck it at all. So this, this is literally how it came out the box. All I did was wash it. But anyways, I'm just using some mousse to kind of form my baby hairs a bit. Um, this definitely took me some time, but whatever. I did the best that I could. This was a struggle, but I just made some baby hairs on the side. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Garnier hairspray 
kind of spray down the to kind of hold the baby hair a bit and then i'm gonna tie it back with a, the elastic band and then i'm gonna let it sit while i do my makeup Okay guys, I literally have not sat down and filmed in a long time because as most of you guys know, I just moved and I've just been all over the place. Like honestly, this is the first time I have worn makeup in a long time. So if my application looks weird, I apologize. Don't drag me, okay? So the first thing that I do when I do my makeup, my nose clean? Okay, sorry. <laughs> The first thing I do when I do my makeup is I put on primer. I already did my brows off camera, so I'm going to do primer. So for primer, I use the Milk Hydro, focus my friend. I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, so I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Oh my God, guys, so as I mentioned, as a lot of you guys know, I recently moved. And when I tell you I have been literally doing everything and nothing, I feel. I feel like I'm just always tired and I'm always doing something. Oh my God. For those of you who don't really even know a lot of my backstory, I'm gonna start from the jump. <laughs> so, ooh. I messed it up, shit. So, my name is Brittany Mitchell. I am from Jamaica. I moved to the United States when I was 17 years old and that was in 2016. And I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. And I lived there. I've been living there since like a month ago. Then I moved to, when I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where I am now. When I moved here in 2016, I went straight into college. I went to, what am I doing? Oh wait, okay. And by the way, I'm using this translucent powder, Laura Mercier, in dark deep or deep what? Translucent, translucent medium deep to like set the primer. Oh my god, I forgot how to do my makeup. Do I color correct first? Okay, I color correct first and then I do this. Oh my god, see, I'm all over the place. All right, let me start over. Okay. So <laughs> oh my god. Okay, no. Okay, so stop. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> No, so when I moved here, um, I went straight into college. I went to Georgia State University. I went to Georgia State for four years. I got my degree in computer information systems. And now I work for a corporate company as a technology analyst. And I have been doing that ever since I graduated in uh, May 2020. So yeah, that's a little background about me. And as I mentioned, I did move to Charlotte, Car Charlotte Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. The reason I moved to Charlotte, one, is really for work because I currently work from home, but my company has this thing where they're slowly bringing people back into the office. Okay guys, so I didn't explain that properly, so let me just give a little bit of background of what I'm trying to say. So basically the company that I work for when I had initially signed my contract with them, it was under the impression that, you know, we're going to work in the office. It was never intended for me to work from home. However, I did start to work during COVID. So that prompted me to work from home. So now that COVID is like dying down a bit, they're slowly beginning the process to let employees return back into the office. So that's basically what I was trying to get at, but I didn't explain it right the first time. So yeah, my bad, <laughs> back to the video. I don't think I'm going back in for now, however, a part of me just really wanted to move and I just didn't think it made any sense for me to like move somewhere in Atlanta and then like say I'm, um, I don't know, two, three months into my lease, right? And then my company's like, oh, it's time for everyone to come back into the office. And that means I would have to take out her next lease to like come all the way up here when I could just be here altogether. Cause realistically, I really did not want to leave Atlanta, but I did want to move out. I was ready to be my own independent woman or so I thought. <laughs> so I went ahead and I made the decision to move out. By the way, I am setting my primer and color corrector with this translucent deep powder from Laura Mercier. But yeah, that's the reason why I moved to Charlotte. And to be honest, it is a bit different um, moving from moving from Atlanta to Charlotte because Atlanta is such a vibrant city with a lot of stuff going on. And mind you, I mentioned I went to Georgia State, which was in downtown Atlanta, so I'm used to chaos and a whole bunch of stuff going on. But here in Charlotte, I mean, I've only been here for a short amount of time and yes, I haven't really 
really explored as much as I want to yet, but it's so much more calm. And I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, let me not say it. Let me not say calm. It is calm, but it's, it's just different. And I guess it's just taking me a while to get used to it. For foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Yeah, it's very much different. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. It's definitely taking, I should say, some getting used to. To be honest, I really have not gotten the chance to really go out and explore. Did I shake it? No, I didn't. Jesus Christ. I've really gotten the chance to go out and explore Charlotte as I would want to because I've been here for about a month or less than a month and I've been so busy with like, you know, working and just moving and uh, just everything that... What did I forget? I forgot to do something. No, I didn't. Okay. Working and just like everything moving wise, you know? And then like when I have nothing to do, all I want to do is sleep. Like it's just been so tiring for me that I really have not gotten the chance to really, you know, explore the place like I want to. So hopefully I do do that. If anybody in the, if anybody watching is from Charlotte, please feel free to suggest some fun things for me to do here. I would greatly appreciate it because I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't I don't really know much to do here, to be honest. And I don't really have a lot of friends here. I have like one friend here and uh, she be busy all the time. So it's like, I do spend a lot of time here by myself, which is fine, but you know. Sometimes I want to be like a real person and socialize. So yeah, if, if you guys know any fun places or fun things to do here, please let me know in the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, I'm going in with a second layer of this foundation because clearly I did not put on enough the first time. Remember I told you guys I haven't done my makeup in a long time, so please bear with me. In my head, I'm talking and I'm trying to remind myself how to do my makeup, so I apologize if I am all over the place. But anyways, let's get into moving. I know I've said it a million times and if you guys watch my moving vlogs, then you know moving stresses me out. Everything about it. Oh, and by the way, for all you guys that are up to date, for you guys that are up to date with my vlogs, I got my money from my firm so so i'm good now <laughs> but um yeah moving is so stressful like the why is it here on my face jesus the whole process oh my god it's like mental physical warfare like there's so much things about moving but living in an apartment that no one tells you like first of all it's really expensive so i suggest anyone who wants to move out on their own the first thing you do budget 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 and budget some more pre-plan your financial needs ahead of time because you're going to spend a lot of money like everything costs money it's one thing to you know pay rent and like utilities and all of that but you're going to need to get a bed you're going to need to get a couch you're going to need to get a tv you're going to need to get towels you're going to need to get paper towels you're going to need to get freaking soap you need you're going like you're going to need to get everything because remember you're starting from scratch and everything costs money nothing is free oh yes and you're going to need to get food you're going to need to feed yourself and everything is so damn expensive so definitely ensure that you budget and that you are in a position to not get too overwhelmed when all these expenses are thrown at you because literally everything adds up so quickly and you're just so shocked with like the simple things that you need that you won't that you don't even pay attention to like next thing what people don't tell you about moving is that especially when you're moving by yourself is that you're going to do everything by yourself and yes it sounds obvious that you're by yourself you have to do everything by yourself but like you're doing everything. Wait, what am I doing next? Jeez, um, no way, okay. So I just did my face. Now I'm going to do my... I did it so wrong. I knew I forgot something. Yo, I told you I forgot to do my makeup. Okay, usually when I do my makeup, I do my brows first, then I do my eyes, then I do everything else. But I forgot to do my... You know, I just want to do my face, and then we're going to do the eyes last. So usually I do the eyes first, but I forgot. Anyways, all over the place, I told you. Back to the topic I had. The next thing with moving, especially when you're moving by yourself, you're gonna have to do everything by yourself. Everything by yourself. Especially when you're moving to an apartment too from a house. One thing that they don't tell you or talk about, no one talks about with me, is packages. Bringing packages to your apartment is such a struggle. What am I doing? I'm going to use this Merit Foundation Stick. This Merit Foundation Stick to contour my face. Okay, so as I was saying, so like bringing packages up to your apartment building is such a struggle that no one freaking talks about. Like no, that is one thing no one warned me about. And then too, after you struggle to bring stuff up, like for example, furniture stuff, if you don't get someone to assemble it for you, you're gonna have to assemble it 
yourself. Now if you're up to date with my vlogs then you know right now I'm in my Bob the Builder mode. I'm building, I'm <laughs> putting everything up myself and it is stressing me out but I'm getting it done. But that is so much like literally no one told me about it. No one like stressed that, emphasized that point to me. Like a lot of things with moving too. I know I'm jumping but like you're going to realize that you're going to learn stuff along the way because just as how no one told me about that. I'm sure it's probably something that I needed to learn or maybe someone did tell me but I wasn't paying attention to it until I was like in the moment like I am now and it's like I have to basically learn you know I have to learn in the moment I'm going to highlight with this with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer okay I'm gonna highlight with that but yeah a lot of things you're going to literally learn on the way learn while doing that's really what moving is you have to be open you can't get frustrated too easily or even if you do get frustrated and if you do get frustrated because it is a frustrating process you have to like dust yourself off and get back to it some of you guys have watched my video with me putting my mattress up and all that that shit stressed me out so much i felt flat on my fucking ass like after that moment i was done but i knew i had to finish it because what am i gonna do like just not sleep on a bed and yes i could have gotten someone to do it for me but a part of it a part of it too feels liberating like doing stuff by yourself that you what am I doing I don't do this sit okay stop a part of it feels liberating too doing stuff by yourself that you're not used to doing and it really tests your resilience and your strength and you really learn so much about yourself so even though moving is exhausting and a lot i usually make my concealer sister so i can talk and talk about even though moving is expensive and a lot and it stresses you out mentally physically emotionally it definitely teaches you a lot about yourself for me too i moved to an entire new city as i said i only have one friend here i don't have the family here i'm by myself so i'm really testing myself because if anything happens god forbid i can't I can't call, like my dad's not down the road, I can't come and be like Yo daddy, I need you right now. <laughs> like you know, I have to figure shit out by myself. So you're really learning so much. You're really building yourself as a person. And I feel like now is the time for all my young adults to really learn all of that, you know? Because as I said, I really didn't have to move out. I had no force to move out right away because yes, my company is like in the process of getting people to go back to work, but they're not like requiring, they're not requiring me to go back into work right now. And I don't know when that's going to happen. So I really could have waited until they're like, hey Brittany, it's time to go back into the office and just stay at home and work from there but I didn't I just took the risk and I came out here all by myself and then who knows I may be here for the whole year until my lease is up and I may never go into the office so I may really move here for no reason so it is a lot as I said moving is a lot but it teaches you so much about yourself I'm gonna start blending this out with a new beauty blender now it's been sitting for a while so I'm gonna just go blend Okay, so now that everything is blended, now that everything is blended, I'm going to go and set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder. I'm gonna set all the areas that I've baked with, that I've highlighted with, with this powder. And oh my God, look how much concealer I put over my lip. I never usually do that. I'm just gonna put some into the cap. Actually, let me just shake it. I'm going to set my under eyes using that same, make sure that there's no creasing, using that same beauty blender. And usually I don't let my powder bake or anything. I usually go in right away with a brush and the Sephora Micro Smooth Face Powder in Deep Ebony. This good girl right here. And I'll use that to dust off the powder. And then I use it to set the rest of my face as well. 
saying back to what I was saying about moving I was telling you guys that you know it definitely teaches you a lot about yourself um what you can do what you're capable of what you're not capable of all of that so definitely i hope this video inspires anyone who's thinking about moving but is scared shitless to just jump and do it i know right now in this climate with like covid and you know everything being expensive food gas all of that you may be like eh, nah i'll wait but you know there's no time like the present you may never know what tomorrow will bring so if you're thinking about it can take my advice if you want it or not and just move but yeah next thing that i wanted to touch on which is like a realization that i made about like being here in charlotte so far as i said i haven't really gotten the chance to explore but um by the way i'm using this fenty beauty uh sun stalker bronzer to uh, bronze my face but yeah one thing that I realized there really isn't much of a Caribbean presence here or if there is please let me know down below please let me know as I mentioned to you guys I am from Jamaica and I feel like that's one thing that I really liked about Atlanta is that it was such a cultured place I mean it is still like it's very chaotic a lot of crap happens there but it is so cultured you can meet all walks of people there but i haven't really seen that yet in charlotte so i know i asked you guys to suggest place for me to go please if you have any places that are that culture here is catered towards people of caribbean descendants please let me know i would love to know i would love to see where my people are represented here you know so yeah let me know because i don't see that a lot but then again i have as i said i haven't really explored charlotte yet the way that i want to so maybe i just need to take that leap and and start exploring the place first right right but yeah enough about me talking about moving and charlotte and like all of that stuff that i've been dealing with let's talk about what's going on in the world right now have you guys seen the gas prices? Have you seen the gas prices? I know y'all seen it. To be honest, I have not put gas in my car for like a month now because one, I don't drive anywhere because I don't really be going anywhere. And two, it is so expensive to fill a tank. When I just got my car, I kid you not, it literally cost, I don't know what it's $26 to fill my tank. No. The last time I filled my tank, it was like $35. And I'm just like, and I have a small car with a small engine. So I know the people them with them big car and them big engine. That is a whole maybe $155. I don't know, maybe even more. I don't know, but oh my god, these gas prices are so crazy. Like everything is so crazy. What's going on right now? Like if it's not COVID, is bombing and wars. If it's not that, then it's gas. That like, this world is so chaotic right now. That's why now, now more than ever, is the time to do whatever it is that you want to do or that you've been dreaming of doing. Because to all the world are going, to how the world is moving right now, tomorrow is really not promised. It's so scary out here oh my god it's really scary but that's why you gotta like take risks just move now do what you need to do now because the more you wait you never know what's gonna happen next because for example a lot of people had plans and then when covid came they were like oh you know after covid i'm going to do this after after covid i'm going to do that well covid isn't going anywhere at least not for now so lots of people realize that and they just have to move with it so if it's one thing that covid taught us or at least me is that you have to work around the circumstances and the hands that you were dealt because who knows when it's gonna go away you know you can't keep planning for like i'm gonna do this after this happens i'm gonna do that after that happens because you never know if a situation is going to be done or when it's going to be done and for you to pause your life to wait on that situation to be done is that you're wasting time and time is the most valuable asset out here because that's one thing that you cannot get back you can't always get back money people always say think money is more important than time no money you can always get back once they have life you can always get back money but time once we don't have time anymore that's it that's it i remember you're only getting older i'm using the juvia's place what is the juvia's place at uh, the max the masquerade minis palette 
for my eyes like literally i don't even do eyes but i'm gonna do like something on the lid and put some eyeliner on and call it a day but yeah literally like y'all can be not saying y'all liking you guys first personally but you guys oh jeez um do i want it this bird oh well we're in too deep now yeah i don't know what i'm doing now honestly i'm freestyling everything i'm doing right now anything that you want to do I just want to do it now, you know. I'm not. This is not me telling everybody out here to just go and do things without a plan or anything in place. Just don't keep putting it off because of like circumstances outside of your control that you don't know when or how it's gonna change. You get what I'm saying? So if you have the means, if you have the availability, the money, all of that to do what you want to do now, go for it. Because when are you when are you gonna gonna get the chance again, you know? And you really think of it, something is always gonna come up come up because one thing about life, life keeps happening. Life never stops happening. Life is just always life in, you know? So don't make life excuse my French, don't make life fuck you. Fuck it first. <laughs> Anyways, I honestly don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. I know I was just all over the place right now. What may I do? I hate doing eyes. Okay, I'm going to have to concentrate on my eyes. So I'm going to stop talking, do the eyes, and then we're going to complete our conversation. So y'all just going to have to watch me for a while. I'm using, oh, I just used this shade right here on my lid, Geyser. And now I'm going to use... Fulani, this brown right here, to kind of deepen my crease a bit. Now I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm going to do a wing. One thing my wings gonna do is look like cousins. But now that that's done, I'm actually going to step off camera and put some lashes on because I suck I put in lashes on. That's gonna take like 58 minutes, so I'll be back when I'm done doing that. See y'all in the next clip. Okay guys, I am back. I have my lashes on. That took forever and a day, but here we are. So now I'm just going to dust off the, the setting powder that I put under my contour. And then I'm going to go back over my face using the same Sephora powder just to like make sure that everything is a bit more seamless, you know, the blend and all. So I'm just gonna do that. By the way, I am no makeup artist or no hairstylist. I'm just a girl that occasionally likes to wear makeup and do her hair, okay? But oh my God, do you guys watch Power? And if you do, like not, not Power as in like the regular show, but like the spin-off shows from Power. And if you do, which one is your favorite? For me personally, I really like the Ghost Book 2. What am I looking for? A blush. I really like the Ghost Book 2. No, I don't want this. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the translucent powder, the Laura Mercier, the deep one. And I'm going to put that on my face. Again, just like a little bit. I'm gonna use this brush. I should use a different brush, but I don't have a different brush to use right now. I'm gonna just tap off the excess and then I'm gonna just pat it on my face. But anyways, as I was saying, for me, I like the one with Tariq and the one about Canaan, like Raisin Canaan. That one is really good. I don't know why people don't talk about that one. I wish someone told me that that one was that good. I didn't think it was good because no one was really talking about it, but what everyone was talking about was the one with Tariq. I'm using this Sephora blush. It's in the color tag, Tiger Lily. So I was so surprised when I watched it and it was so good. Like, it was really good. I'm just like, at the end of it, I was just like, you know what? I feel like Kane and go and kill him mother. And that would explain why he had no problems killing his son. Cause if you kill your mother, I don't think you are gonna be that pressed about killing your son. I don't know. It was surprisingly really, really good. Like I thoroughly enjoyed it. However, the one with Tommy, that one disapp that one's disappointing me. To be honest, I canceled my stars subscription today because I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna be watching this anymore because I didn't like it, you know? I didn't like it. But I think we're on like episode seven and it still has not grown on me. I still have, mm, what am I doing now? 
I'm gonna pause that and set my face and then I'm gonna continue what I'm saying. I'm gonna set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Shake it up a bit. Yeah, but as I was saying, I really did not like it and I was so shocked because Tommy's like my favorite character in Power. So when I saw that he had his spin-off coming, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, yes, Tommy, finally. But I just didn't like it. As a matter of fact, I canceled my subscription with Stars because I'm like, okay, I finished watching The, the Raising King and I finished watching the ones with Tariq, the ghost book too. And I was gonna keep it to just finish watching the one with, with Tommy, but I don't like it. The only other thing that I watch on Stars is P Valley and that has not been back Yet. so when that comes back or whichever power comes back first then I'm out with stars but anyways I'm going to use a Maybelline unstoppable eyeliner to line my lips and then now I'm going to use the NYX um, soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi. Gonna put that in the center of my lips. Then I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go on top of that with the fancy lip gloss in Glass Slipper. Okay, I think that is, oh wait, now I've put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to kind of elongate my eyeliner in the corner, see if I can do it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to put some eyeliner in my waterline and see if that is gonna help me. I'm gonna use the same one I used on my lips. So guys, I think this is the completed look. I'm going to take this headband off and um, finish up my hair and we should be good. Let me see what these edges are giving. I hope they don't embarrass me because I can't be embarrassed right now. They don't look terrible. They just need a little shaping. To the, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Been on TikTok too much. I need to put some foundation and some contour, contour on my right here so that everything blends. I'm gonna just put a little bit like a dab, a foundation on the back of my hand so that, you know, I don't look crazy. Okay guys, this is it for the face. I am going to hop off camera a bit and I'm going to put some finishing touches on my hair and then I'm gonna come back and wrap this video up. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so this is the final look and this ends today's video. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well as let me know any other video ideas that you want to see me do on this channel the details for this hair will be in the description below as I mentioned earlier I bought this hair with my own money and it is really good I am loving the color on me I think I did a pretty good job even though it's not that center but you know as a hair kind of sore I just do what I can do so yeah I think I did a pretty good job I think it looks cute I like it so I'll put all the, all the details to the hair in the description box down below and I'll put all the products that I used on my face and on my hair in the description box down below as well. So with that being said, thank y'all again for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Share the video with a friend. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, guys, take care.